So I have an upcoming assignment in Seattle, Washington. I'm gonna be shooting a little bit of video, mostly a whole bunch of stills, and I just wanted to take you into what exactly it is that I am bringing on my time there. Now, I know that at one point I did say the words, if I ever, ever make a what's in my camera bag video, go ahead and beat my ass. Well, someone's gonna have to whoop my ass probably about three or four times, because in this, I'm gonna be going over about three or four bags, what I'm packing in them, and what exactly I would bring to an assignment like this. So. Without further ado, let's just begin. The first camera bag I'm gonna take a look at is actually my favorite camera bag of all time. And I'm bringing it up because I'm disappointed that I'm actually not gonna bring it with me. And that is the Donkey F2. This is my favorite camera bag brand. Best camera bag anyone could own. This is the one camera bag system. I will always recommend any product from Donkey. I will, will recommend. It fits everything. It's just, it's an overkill kind of bag, but for someone like me who's on sporting assignments a lot that needs a large camera like a Canon uh, 1DX Mark I or if you know I'm using an X-H2S or anything, long lenses, big lenses, it just has the space for it. The hooks on here, the class system, the Velcro, the extra pockets, I mean these pockets fit a Kodox 8200, super snug, it fits something like a huge anchor battery pack um, and then it's just got so many places for storage, I can fit it full-size iPad Pro in here. I mean, it's just it's just a great bag. Unfortunately, I'm not bringing it because it's too damn big and I hate to bring this whenever I'm traveling just because it's more than enough, uh, even greater than enough. And so I just pack it completely full. Not my favorite thing to do to overpack whenever I travel. So that's the Dom PF2. Won't be bringing it, but it's a fantastic honorable mention. So I'm actually bringing three bags with me to Seattle. Um, and when you see the three bags that I'm bringing, the sizes, it'll make sense why I'm bringing three. Everything, trust me, will check out in the end. But the main bag that I'm gonna be bringing that's gonna carry majority of my camera equipment is going to be a bag that I've already owned once, loved it, ended up giving it to my little sister because she started her photography journey and she loved it as well. And luckily, Brevity reached out and wanted to give me another one, and that is Brevity's Camera Jumper. Now, this is a bag that I will actually recommend, that I actually like to use, and more importantly, it's just a fantastic travel backpack, which is the exact reason why I'm going to be getting it. Um, they've actually done a few upgrades on it. The straps are a little bit beefier, thank God. Again, this is their camera jumper bag. I have an affiliate link for this below. If you'd like to purchase this, I get a little bit of a kickback. Along with every single thing that I'm gonna be listing, I will probably have an affiliate link with it or just link to it. I don't get money from everything. I'm just gonna put the stuff that, you know, I like. So the other camera bags that I'm bringing, they're actually two of the same exact camera bag genres, but to me, they are the greatest street photography camera bags, period. You can't get better. There is no topping this. If people ask, hey, what camera bag should I buy? I always point them to this, and that is fanny packs. I'm starting off with a clear fanny pack because I'll be going to a ball game whenever I'm in Seattle, and you can't take anything but clear bags. This clear fanny pack will be able to get me in so I can carry my wallet, carry my phone, carry a few moment lenses, carry an extra lens for my Leica. And yeah, this is what I'm gonna be using. This right here is my holy grail whenever it comes to getting in and out of sporting events. I love fanny packs. So besides this clear fanny pack, I'm going to be bringing right here. This is the Moment Fanny Pack. Now, Moment sent me some gear recently. Very, very thankful. I have affiliate links for this down below. Um, I don't have to make a video about anything. They just sent it to me. They like the channel, and I'm very, very gracious and appreciative. But I specifically asked for this. Reason being, I like fanny packs. This is the best thing to me. When you're walking around the street, the best thing to do is to have every single part of your upper body free for you to be able to pull the camera up, for you to be able to create, for you to be able to communicate. And this is the best thing. I don't have to worry about someone trying to grab and swipe this. It's at the very front of me. I can block anything and punch someone. I can defend myself. Whether you're carrying in here an extra lens like I'm very prone to, a cell phone, or anything like lenses for a moment. I have an anamorphic and a 58 millimeter. It has a special area in here, including a little spot in the back, uh, a hidden zipper that can hold like field notes um, for if I'm on a sporting assignment or just my wallet. Whether you're carrying something like a personal defense weapon, it doesn't matter. This thing is fantastic. I like that it has these little segmented areas and little pouches. It's got a place for your key. Comes with microfiber cloth. This could have had nothing but an open compartment right here and I would have loved it because I love fanny packs. Fanny packs force you in street photography to carry less and carry the essentials. With that being said, fanny pack is another thing that I'm bringing as well as these moment lenses that are in here. 58 millimeter and an anamorphic lens. They're pretty badass, so I'm gonna be bringing those. But those are my three bags that I'm gonna be bringing, loading out for this entire trip. So the next item I'm bringing with me is going to be this right here. This is a travel tripod from Vanguard. 
Very, very small, very, very lightweight. It's not Manfrotto build quality. It's not, you know, anything to write home about, but it's gonna get the job done. If I'm shooting landscapes on a mountainside or whatever, I can use this. If I'm in a building and need something to hold the camera while it's recording, I can do this. It's just fine. It goes to about 46 inches. It is good enough. The ball head on here is a very nice ball head. You don't need this kind of travel tripod, but for this situation, specifically because I'm shooting a video as well as stills, this is something that I'm gonna have with me. And again, because I have the bag that accommodates this with the Brevity uh, camera jumper, this is gonna be an easy one to carry with me. So, travel tripod. I'm going to be bringing two cameras with me along with my cell phone, which I'm gonna be using as a B cam as well. Um, but we'll get more into that later on. The main camera that I'm gonna be using to take photos is going to be my Leica M Type 262. On this, I'm going to have a Zeiss 50 millimeter f2 as well as a zeiss 35 millimeter f2.8 um, the camera's good it does the job i'm enjoying using a rangefinder the reason why i got it the biggest thing is these zeiss lenses are just amazing they're the best lens i've ever used i would go as far to say i am on team zeiss now that they're better lenses than like i get people say well they're too damn sharp well you can adjust that in post but i can't make a dull lens or a lens that has horrible chromatic aberration or something be something that it's not in post-production. I'm bringing Fujifilm's X-C4 as well to record all my video. Big shocker to a lot of people. But I've given the X-C4 another shot and not looking at it as a main camera, but as a B cam or something that's just an auxiliary for everything else I'm doing. And it's been fantastic. It's actually what I'm recording on right now. And with that, I will also be bringing Fujifilm's XF 21 millimeter or 14 millimeter f2.8 which is a 21 millimeter um, equivalent and what i'm doing is i'm wrapping them actually in these little guys right here it's an optech usa uh, little camera pouches lens pouches so i actually really like this these are these are pretty cool so yeah i'll be using the 21 millimeter to do some close-up stuff with wide angle to make it look fun as well as any landscapes if i'm doing those there and then of course i have my 35 and my 50 for anything that i'm doing from documentary work and the still sides so um, this should cover me completely uh, with these lenses and these two cameras and i'm super excited about it so the next thing that i'm gonna be bringing is basically something that follows me everywhere and it's my camera dop kit um, i carry two things i usually carry a tech dop kit and that is hidden in a peak design uh, tech pouch and usually something uh, of the likes of a plastic baggie with some things but now I went to Ikea and I got this two dollar little pouch I don't know what it's supposed to be used for but it has a nice little cool zipper and uh, these things work really well so in this I have quite a few things I usually carry my TT Artisan M adapter I'll carry everything I need from Peak Design. This right here is a Peak Design base plate, as well as the Allen wrench to put it on there. Uh, any extra things pertaining to the capture clip and the belt clip right here. So this is for the capture clip, the belt will sit. Here is the belt clip or the capture clip right here. This is fantastic. Um, I use this all the time for a lot of things. I also have on there um, a couple things for my little Flash Q Q20s. This right here is something to where I can plug it into any flash using the receivers that I have. I have a couple of those. Um, I've got a little blower, a little rocket blower, rocket blower mini junior. I have a SanDisk one terabyte SSD, which I'll be using to offload everything while I'm there. I'll be using that in conjunction with an iPad Air version four. I've got some lens cleaner. I'm also bringing this, which is an SD card reader. This will be able to take care of everything again using in conjunction with an iPad and then I'm also going to carry a couple of extra batteries uh, for the XC4. The Leica will probably last the whole time uh, without a doubt. That's a big ass battery on that 262 so shout out to that. Another thing I'm going to bring in is some extra filters. Just a CPL filter for my 50 and my 38. Um, this is all that I really need. This helps me make the light the way I need it to be. It also acts like a little bit of a neutral density filter. So this right here is from Tiffin, good quality glass. Excited about this. A couple other things I'll be bringing are of course, uh, some batteries. This right here is AA. I'll be bringing AA and AAA. This will help me with quite a few things. Um, I mean, things need batteries. As well as we bring in a Think Tank uh, SD card wallet. This rolls down. I'm importing a lot of images off SD cards right now. You can fill this thing up, take CF, holds SD, micro SD, it's, uh, it's actually pretty nice. As well as a little microphone right here. This is a Deity D4 Mini. Um, great little microphone. I have hooked up to it the TRRS adapter and with an iPhone adapter because I can record B-roll, vlog, using this right here. Um, and this is really, really nice. I have this little phone. This isn't the little uh, dead cat that came with it, 
but I like this one specifically because it's smaller. Uh, I just I just don't like how giant the dead cat is. Got this off Amazon for a couple bucks, but it fits perfectly on there. So one of the other things that I'm excited about bringing is actually a flash, and this flash is one that will work on both the XC4 as well as on the Leica 262, and that is the Light Labs Flash Q Q20. Um, great little guy to have. Eats batteries up all freaking day, but I actually really like this thing, and I like it even more now that I got to get this right here, which is a flash kit for it. You can buy this separately, but this comes with a couple things. It comes with a nice little bounce card that'll sit on top. Uh, you're able to bounce light off of, um, you know, so you can flip it straight up, boom, hit that light off there. You're able to reflect all day. It also comes with a nice tiny little diffuser, so you don't have to be like my boy, like Lee, who had to tape like some toilet paper or a paper towel to it. But a nice little diffuser so that you can, uh, you know, just make things look a little bit more pleasant. But I'm excited to use this. It seems like something very, very small, something very insignificant, but this may end up being my favorite piece of gear that I got to take. One thing that I like about this, you guys have probably already seen this, is you can go ahead and you can separate the transmitter right here, and then you can hold this handheld, or you can mount this somewhere uh, to be able to be used separately away from this. You can have off-camera flash. The other thing is they have these amazing little uh, receivers right here. So if someone over there has flash and I want to use theirs, I can have a multiple flash set up with this being on top. And this right here is a receiver, um, speaks to this transmitter. So whenever it says go, this says go. And I can use this with any flash that I want. And in, in, in accordance with even those little cords, this is what I was talking about. I'm able to use this setup right here with this little transmitter to be able to run um, any kind of Godox trigger that I have, more specifically my 8200s. I can use it with just this little uh, transmitter and this receiver right here. Game changer. Love this thing right here. Keeps my camera load very, very light. I really like it. Another item that I'm bringing is actually my Rode Wireless Goes, which will usually be in this pouch, but I'm using them now to record this video. Um, but in here I also have a nice little Sony lapel mic. This will come in handy whenever I'm recording uh, any kind of interview, any kind of talking head stuff. Uh, this just makes my life a little bit easier, as well as I'm going to be using this Zoom H1N. Um, reason why I like this and I always will carry this is because it's just great. I can use this, talk back and forth to someone to record them. I can record a full event. I can go ahead and get ambient noise if I need to has a nice little windscreen that covers it so it looks a little bit more uh, professional. But even more than that, I can actually plug in that same lapel that I have for the road system, and now I can hook this up to someone if they're doing long talks, if they're doing um, any kind of speaking event. It takes AAA batteries, so I'll be having to make sure I take AAA batteries, but uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites. This is the Zoom H1N, an oldie, but very, very goodie. So the last couple things that I'm gonna be bringing with me is number one, this right here, this is a nice little iPhone gimbal. This is the Zion, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Uh, but uh, I think it's a crane. I honestly am not sure what this is called, but I picked this up off MPB for $15. It works just fine. I'm gonna be using this uh, along with that anamorphic lens to be able to get some nice cinematic shots while I'm at this event. So this is gonna come very, very in handy. This is one that I'm actually really excited about to use. I got to play around with it and test it. And this is something that's gonna be fun with me. I might even get it for some cityscapes and things, but this right here is something that I'm actually really glad I picked up, especially for the fact they're so cheap now. I think at launch these were around $100, which is ridiculous, but it works the exact same. My phone's light enough, so it'll be just fine. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about here is the Peak Design Tech Pouch. Uh, this is something that I recommend quite a bit, especially the V1. Um, I'm a huge fan of anything from Peak Design that is a version one copy. Uh, the version two seemed to me not to be the most thought out. Uh, they all came in a little bit smaller. They don't extend as much. Tolerance is on as high. The zippers I'm not really a fan of, but anything you can get version one from Peak Design, I'm all for. It has a nice little back area, a little back hidden away pocket for wallets, anything like that. I've got field notes, which is great for taking down numbers, getting information from people. As well as inside, it's got so much storage. I've got an extra bullet pin in here. I have a nice little portable charger. Uh, my AirPods, which are a must for any kind of travel. So I have my AirPods in here, some tissue, some extra cords. I'm going to be bringing a USB-C charger. This is for the iPad, chapstick, a nice USB or looks like a lightning to USB-C cable. That's to fast charge my iPhone, um, as well as some medication like some Tylenol and things, some Advil if you're on your feet all day, it's kind of annoying, and a nice little extra flashlight. So this is what I bring in this pouch. This is just gonna be the, hey, if I need something randomly, let me go in here and dig it. It's gonna be in the bag at all times. 
and this is uh, basically what I'm be using in my carry-on is getting things in now all my electrical needs all my extra little tech needs that aren't specific for cameras this is where they're going to be held again big design tech pouch I recommend this with all my heart if they have version 2 I've never tried it but for version 1 I guarantee you you'll have a great time with this so now everything's packed everything that I had will fit away right in here again you can stuff this thing pretty tight so it's uh, it's nice fantastic but um, now that everything's packed, we go on from the tech gear to actually what I'll be taking with me in my other bag. And the last bag that I'm bringing is actually a bag I've had for a while from Herschel Supply Co. This is just one of their duffel bags, um, mainly because I'm a basic bitch. I'm bringing with me uh, two pairs of socks, long white socks, as well as with some Vans no-shows. It's supposed to be raining there just in case I get a little bit wet. I've got an extra pair of socks, as well as I prefer jockey underwear. This feels really good on the boys, very breathable, so you keep that sperm count at a good level. Keep your beans away from you a little bit so that you know you can make sure you can have kids later on. Uh, but more than anything, they're just really, really comfy, kind of silky. I like the feeling. For the bottoms, I'll have a pair of khaki shorts. Very, very nice and simple dad looking ass short as well as with some khaki pants, I guess they would be called. A um, little bit worse for wear on their last leg, but they still look fantastic every time you wear them. For the shoe, I'll be wearing, of course, the National Street Photographer's Shoe of Street Photographization and Street Photographer Association Street Shoe, which is uh, Carhu, and these right here are the Mastaris. If they look gigantic, it's because I have a large ass size 13 foot. This video is going downhill very quickly. To accompany those, I'll be wearing some old beat up red chucks that I bought off of Poshmark a few months ago. They've been holding up very horribly and these will no doubt completely obliterate my feet as I travel and wear these through the airport. This is a horrible, horrible decision, but what am I gonna do? Always make sure you carry a nice hat. You gotta let them know, um, gotta let them know. So make sure you carry a nice hat. I'm also gonna be bringing sanitizer, which my fiance left in my bag. Uh, for no other reason than the smell will remind me of her at night while I cry myself to sleep. And I'll also be bringing downy wrinkle release because why not? Also gonna be bringing an automatic watch. Um, I love to wear this thing. This is from Orient, it's nothing super fancy, but it does the job. I like not having batteries. I'm not good at having an Apple watch because I don't wanna charge anything. And as far as I can tell, this hasn't really messed me up or made me show up anywhere late. Bringing a wallet, this right here is a wallet my fiance got me, Herschel Supply Co, Herschel Supply Co. again, sorry about that, um, with the tile uh, tracker in there because I lose my wallet a lot. And of course, Herschel Supply because I'm a basic bitch. I have excellent personal hygiene, so of course there's gonna be a dop kit with all kinds of little goodies in here from Q-tips, um, deodorant, uh, things to make you smell good like solid cologne, a comb, toothbrush, maybe even some toothpaste, who knows, I might even bring body wash and wash myself while I'm in Seattle. Finally, the top part of the fit, you always have to bring yourself a nice plain white t-shirt. This is a fantastic undershirt as well as a fantastic sleep shirt. So I'll be bringing that as well as a nice little sweater. This one's from Carhu. Shout out to Carhu, the unofficial official basic bitch uh, outfit for me because I really like Carhu. So shout out to Carhu for that, but I'll be wearing that. That's great because if it does rain or if it gets cold, which it is said to be, getting cold while I'm in Seattle, um, I got something I can put on over my other two shirts, which will be similar to this shirt, something very, very adorable like this one, which says unapologetically wholesome as I am, as well as this one that says on my way to validate the homies. Now I'll have the links for all these things below. And also, yes, I am going through somewhat of a horrible crisis in my own life, which is why these shirts scream out to the child inside of me at every single point. So that being said, this is all that I'm taking with me on my assignment in Seattle. Um, if you guys see me there, please don't talk to me because it'll be very, very awkward. But other than that, remember to take it light, but take it and have a good one.